Happy Thursday. It is Thursday, April 25th, 2019. It is about 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Beautiful, beautiful, sunny California. Doing my two miles in preparation for my marathon in December 2019. Still don't know what city, but I know it's going to be in December, so I'm training now. Just got some inspiration. I'm going to make this whole video about inspiration instead of excuses just saw this young lady run past me you could probably see her if i do this in the background this young lady is running with a stroller in the heat her baby is in there smiling laughing flapping in the wind and she is running not walking or jogging like what i do she making me look bad <laughs> but she's running with her stroller I'm like what that actually that reminds me of me like eight years ago with my stroller out here on the track trying to lose that baby fat weight around my hips and around my stomach and my back that back fat <laughs> this she just really inspired me right now so I'm gonna build my whole message around inspiration and no excuses i just walked out here minded my business i saw her running by it inspired me to kick it up a notch and get on my a game when you see that you see people i want to encourage you when you see people winning and doing great things i want you to challenge yourself to get started well, maybe you can't perform at that level yet but I want you to get started. Use that little bit of information as inspiration and kill your excuses. Excuses are like armpits, they stink. Everybody has them and they stink. Excuses are like the wind, like who cares? They're here today, gone tomorrow. They shouldn't stop you. Don't let anything stop you from doing whatever you need to do. Do you need to run a mile? Need to run a marathon? Do you need to work a little bit harder? Do you need to fix your diet? Do you need to get your money in order? You need to make the money moves, like I talked about yesterday, making the money moves. Do you need multiple streams of income? What do you need? You need a better marriage? You need a better relationship with your kids? Your kids not talk to you? Are they out of control? You're having temper tantrums in this grocery store? You need to get that under control, homie. You need to get that under control. That's a bad look. It don't look good. It don't make you feel good. So what is your goal? What do you want to achieve? What's your dream? Figure that out now. <laughs> and do everything to start moving towards it. I'll help you. I'm here. Reach out to me. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want more positive messages. In the meantime, I'm going to be over here jogging. <laughs> I'm going to kick my work up, workout up a little bit just because I got that inspiration from that young lady with the stroller running like full speed, like a track star running with that baby in the stroller. And the baby's like, hey, having a good time, having, living your best life. That's what it's all about. Never, 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 never let nobody change your mood. Don't ever let nobody get you mad. If somebody gets you mad, they controlled you, they won. When you are calm, disciplined, focused, cool, calm, and collected, cool, calm as a cucumber, when you get to that level, then you have mastered your emotions. Everybody's working towards that. Everybody should be working towards that level because that is the level of happiness when you can just be consistent regardless of who's in the room, regardless of what you're going through. Be happy. Life is too short. At any time, you could be snuffed out. Boom, here today, gone tomorrow. You, tomorrow's not promised. I think you forgot about that. Tomorrow's not promised, so don't wait to be happy. Be happy right now. Start with a smile, all right? Love you. Tasha Deer is out. Toodles.